Well, gas is not just hurting our wallets. It is some rideshare drivers really considering switching careers now. And developing right now, drivers are gathering to rally for their fair share of wages. CBS 2's Marissa Parr joins us live from Goose Island. And Marissa, it was windy this morning. Now those protesters got to deal with the rain. And that rain and wind isn't stopping any of the people you see behind me. Some of them have been here for more than an hour. All of them donning signs that say roughly the same thing. They're saying the way things are right now just simply <laughs> is not sustainable. And if you hear cars honking, those are honks of support for the people that are out here. And if you're wondering, this isn't just something we're seeing in Chicago. We saw similar protests within the last week in cities like Los Angeles and New York. Now, we've talked about the fact that Uber and Lyft, both companies, raise their prices when it comes to their rides upwards of 55 cents for that fuel surcharge. But drivers across the country say it does not offset the high cost of gas. The Chicago Gig Alliance made up of both Uber and Lyft drivers. Well, you can see them. They were getting their signs ready ahead of this morning. They say with gas prices the way that they are, it's just not sustainable. Now they are pushing for a living wage ordinance to cap the amount that rideshare companies can take from each ride. When I started driving, they were taking 20% of my fare. They're taking over 50% of my fare now. Gas is up. Uh, it's just not like it used to be. So instead of posting record profits, they're just going to have to post profits. The living wage ordinance was introduced to city council within the last few weeks. So far, it has garnered the support of roughly a dozen aldermen. But in order for this to pass, as they are trying to advocate for, for this right now behind me, in order for this to pass, they need 26 aldermen to throw their support behind this. So this is something that will be developing over the next few months. And of course, we will stay on top of that. Reporting live from outside the Uber hub in Goose Island, Marissa Parra, CBS2 News.